You don't need to see no cleavage in it. It's cleavage is not, it's not necessary for this video. <laughs> It's JJ Sweets and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a special treat for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how I made this choker. The reason why I made this choker in the first place is because I wanted to do um, a Diz inspired makeup tutorial and I was looking all over online for like a cute Diz choker or a collar, do you know what I'm saying? But I couldn't find a cute one anywhere so I just decided to make one for myself. If you look around, even if you Google it, you see chokers that look like this or this like no the aim of my channel is so you can embrace your otakuness and look cute and sexy and glamorous and fleeky at the same time do you know what i'm saying like you can't look cute and glamorous and fleeky on a regular basis not like if you're going to you know the anime convention or you know like just just have a little subtle a little subtleness of otakuism do you, you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned if you want to see how, you know, I made this. Okay guys, so first off, we are going to need um, a needle and a thread. Preferably you want your thread to be um, the same color as the choker, but I'm doing this quickly, so I'm just using my sewing needle for my weave. Um, next off, you're going to need, oh, 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 long nail problems. <laughs> Um, I got this from a previous choker, it's really cheap, it was like, I don't know, 99p. Two of these barbell thingies, these are my tongue piercing bars, or what are they called, the barbells, whatever, Do you, know, you know what I mean. Um, you want them both to be the exact same size. A pen, you're gonna need a measuring tape, or a ruler, like I said, I'm doing this really quickly so I don't have all the stuff that I need. <laughs> and you're also going to need a pair of scissors. Okay, let's get started. First off, what you want to do is measure your choker. Um, I like to measure it in inches, it just makes things easier for me. Oh, and also make sure um, if you turn your choker around, if you're getting the same choker as me, this choker actually has, um, like you can see the back. This is the back of the choker. So you want to make sure you do all your sewings and stuff, like all the stuff that you don't want to show, make sure that they're on the back. Next, I'm going to measure my choker, let's say approximately 13, <laughs> okay? Let's say it's approximately 13, but what we wanna do is that we wanna, um, yeah, we wanna meet in the middle, so. Or, or, forget about this shit, just fold the motherfucker in half. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Fold it in half, boom, there's your middle, isn't it? There you go, <laughs> there is your middle. So, take your pen. Do your, do your little marking there, that's where you're gonna poke through. Get your needle and thread. Ooh. Get your needle and thread. Make sure you do a tie a knot. Um, make sure the knot is small as well. That's why, you know, I wanna get my scissors. Just in case I do a massive knot and it's uncomfortable on my neck. You know what? Let's start this knot again. Let's not look stupid. Get out of here, knot. I'm so used to doing like my actual weave that I forget that the knots do not have to be thick, Jay. They do not. Nice little tidy knot there and just snip and snip, snip. Make sure it's nice and tight. What we wanna do, we wanna see where that hole is. Okay, cool. I'm gonna poke that right through. Bap. Nice. Once that is through, I really wish I had like red thread, but I do not. Mm. Mm. Okay, once that is through, you get your, your triangle. And what we wanna do is that we wanna go right back through that hole. Yeah, see? I wanna go back through, whoop, through that hole. Booyah. Okay, now look at here, look at here guys. This is why, cause I want, we want the um, triangle to look like that. If you have your red string, it should look a lot better. Okay, once that's on there tight, we're gonna make a cute knot. As tiny as possible so it doesn't irritate your neck while you're wearing it, so. If you will let me knot my knot, let me knot my knot, God, come now. Okay. <laughs> Just cut it right close. Mm. 
This is the front and this is the back. Cool. Now we got our, what do they call them? Barbells, dumbbells, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I want them to be approximately an inch and a half away. When I say an inch. Yeah. I want it to start about an inch and a half away from the center. So put our line there. Okay. And the same goes for the other side. What we want to do is take the needle that we had before and poke a hole. I'm going to poke a hole through, through the mark that you made and do the same on the other side. Then you want to take um, one of the balls off your barbells. Make sure you put it in a safe place because you don't want to lose it. And you just want to poke it through from the front because that's you want the ball to be showing, not the actual bar, right? Oh, it's more difficult. It's real difficult, isn't it? All right, we're getting in there. I'm just gonna twist on my way in, so it just it knows what direction it's supposed to be going in. Okay, that's fine. So turn it round. Then I'm gonna just use this. I'm not gonna poke a hole. We're not trying to poke a hole through um, the thing with the barbell. Like I told you, it's a bit messy. So we're just gonna try and make a dent, so you know where it's supposed to go. So that's my dent there that I've made with it. And I'm just gonna draw a line a little bit before the dent, okay? Just a little, a little bit before the dent. And that's where I'm gonna use my needle to poke through. And then just pop it through that hole. Remember that ball I told you not to lose? <laughs> I had mine in my mouth, so. Definitely I wasn't losing that. Screw it on, make sure it's nice and tight. And that's one side done. We're gonna do the other side now. And there you have it guys. That's how I made my Deer's Choker. Dumb. Are you dumb, blood? Are you dizzy? Are you fermenting in the stew, cuz? Look at that. Tell me that's not pink. As in, even if you went into anime, even if you didn't like the deers, who wouldn't want this choker? Look how, look how pink it is. Look how, <laughs> look how pink it is, though. Boom, bang, bing. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you liked this. I don't know if it's a, it's not a tutorial. DIY video um, let me know what you guys think about it don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of me and I will see you guys in my next video bye I remember when I remember I remember when I lost my